recipe books. They are the living proofs to the amazing benefits of a healthy lifestyle. Why did I say that? Because at 79, Pastor Brackett still actively involved in outdoor sports that includes water and snow skiing and also snorkeling. 79, okay. So they have started sharing the secrets to us since last night. And also managing their 40-acre lifestyle and wellness in Washington State. Ma'am Neva is 78, but still active and also loves walking, gardening, cooking, and snorkeling. They have two grown-up daughters, Kathy and Kimberly. Our guests are uh, Pastor Jim Brackett and his wife, Mam Ma Neva. Uh, Ma'am, would you mind standing again, please? Okay, let us welcome them and let us be continually blessed as we listen to Pastor Jim and as, uh, as he shares um, what he has to share to us this morning, let us pray that God continually uses him and the Holy Spirit continually work in our hearts. Blessed Sabbath, everyone. Blessed Sabbath, everyone. 
The Lord be praised that we are all gathered here. It is because of our love for the Lord, our desire to worship Him, that we are gathered together. This is a special gathering that we have today uh, because of our commitment to learn more about the health message. And thank you, Sister Cutie, for deepening our understanding this morning that, uh, you know, I did not think of that, that the reason why we should commit ourselves to the health message is because of service. When we are healthy, we are able to deliver the highest service to God and man. God wants us alive. God wants us healthy. That's why we are gathered together. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to the Health Ministries Department of the Philippine International Church, Sister Jackie Polancos. Thank you so much for um, leading out and also committing yourself in spite of your very busy schedule. And also to uh, Mam Nati Estepon, uh, the head of the Occupational Safety and Health Office. And of course, to our administration, Dr. Borromeo and Dr. Amorao and Dr. Grisel, for the support of this program. I want you to know that health, embracing the health message, is one of our strategic goals, one of the goals of the university. It's our commitment that our faculty and staff and our students and all our stakeholders will commit to a healthy lifestyle and that AUP will be an instrument to teach the health message. Uh, I would like to invite you to uh, read with me Psalm 92 and let us do this as a responsive reading. Psalm 92, kindly uh, search for it. Psalm 92. Let, I will read the odd verses 1, 3, 5, and so on. And the congregation will read the even verses 2, 4, and so on. And at the last, let us read together. Okay, Psalm 92. A psalm, a song for the Sabbath day. It is good to give, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psaltery, upon the harp, with a solemn sound. O oh Lord, how great are your works, and your thoughts are very deep. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. For lo, thine enemies, O Lord, for lo, thine enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. Mine eye also shall see my desire on mine enemies, and mine ear shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God.
together to show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and let us worship him in spirit and in truth and with gladness in our hearts. Shall we kneel? For our thoughts on the Sabbath, let me read this quotation. The value of the Sabbath as a means of education is beyond estimate. Whatever of ours God claims from us, he returns again, enriched, transfigured with his own glory. The tithe that he claimed from Israel was devoted to preserving among men in its glorious beauty the pattern of his temple in the heavens, the token of his presence on the earth. So the portion of our time, which he claims is given again to us, bearing his name and seal, it is a sign, he says, between me and you, that ye may know that I am the Lord. Because in six days the Lord made the heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Exodus 31, verse 13, 20, and verse 11. The Sabbath is a sign of creative and redeeming power. It points to God as the source of life and knowledge. It recalls man's primeval glory and thus witnesses to God's purpose to recreate us in his image. Hence today, brothers and sisters, let us thank the Lord for the Holy Sabbath. Without the Sabbath, where would we be? So again, let us praise the Lord for the Sabbath. Let us praise him who is our creator, the source of life, 
and he promised the source of knowledge. And today, since last night, we have been gaining knowledge. This is knowledge. But this knowledge has been with us, the church. And today, let us pray that the Lord will remove the obstacles in our hearts, that we will embrace this knowledge, that there will be seen a transformation among God's people. Please stand. come this morning, grateful hearts, Lord, for your love, care, your mercy, your promise to be with us, your promise to show us what course to pursue, your promise to give us strength, words to speak in season. Oh, thank you, Lord, and bless us. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. For our Sabbath expressions of praise, we'll be singing, uh, I sing the mighty power of God and before Jehovah's awful throne. Good night. 